What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel City Boy Farming. In this video, we're actually going to put these, well four of these, inside of a bucket and start the hydroponic system, aquaponic system uh, process and get it going. As you can see, this is my Chicago cucumbers and the leaves look like they turn them yellowish brownish. They're getting hungry so it's time to really set these apart and my sugar baby watermelons are actually growing, doing really well. And this right here is my hybrid melon. And of course I got some dill. So I got, and then you, you can see my tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of those, thin those out. Get rid of that. This, this was lettuce. <laughs> well, I can actually not get rid of it, but keep it going. And you can see some dill and I got some peppers in the back. Right now, I got a bucket. As you can see, it's a little dirty, so we got to clean that out. This is from when the old plants was in there. So let's get to cleaning that out. And I'll put holes in the top. So y'all probably remember this when I had this in my workspace. I got to clean this off as well. Uh, so I'm going to have four in here. I'm thinking about putting tomatoes in the back. Watermelon. Actually, I want to put the hybrid melon back here and the sugar baby watermelon right here, cucumbers on this side and my tomatoes on that side. This is where my plug gonna go out of. I'm gonna go into that a little more after I clean this out. All right, I got some water in there. I got to clean as, as much as I could. <laughs> so right here, if you see my finger, this is where the water is at. So it's literally up there at this line right here, a little below it, but it's, it's up there. And the reason I have it up there is because I my net pods that go inside the hole will only be about like an inch in. It'd be an inch in, that way the roots can get enough water and it can spread out through the net pod into the water. Now, what we gotta do is check the pH level on the, in this water. So let's get to that. Okay, this is my pH reader. I got this off of Amazon. I will put the link in below. And what we're gonna do is just put it in there and see where is it. So usually it'd be in like in the sevens, a little bit higher, seven. All right, it's so like it's gonna be at 7.3. Where I want this at is between 5.5 .5 or six. So I got some pH down. That's the lower the pH on here. And I also got some pH up that if I make it too low, I can just rise it back up. But you don't want to play with them chemicals too much. So you just want to keep it a stable, a stable balance. So I'm keep I'm trying to get it from 5.5 to 6 even in this water. So I'm not even using the cat fool. This is what I'm gonna use this much. Oop, I almost dropped it. <laughs> now I'm just tap it in there, swish it around. Cause this stuff works like crazy. Get my pH meter. Where is it? It's going down just a little. Let's put a little more in there. Ooh, that's probably too much. Stir it up. See where we at. It's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. It's not too bad. Actually, that's actually pretty fine. So I'm gonna keep it right there because I don't want to put too much of there in it. Then I have to put some pH up in there just in case. So, but that's pretty good. Now it's time to place these in some raw net pot holders and get started. So this right here is the Rockwool net pot holder. You can get these off of Amazon. These are two inches in diameter. And you can place them in there. Once you place them in the hole, the roots grow out the little side pockets, which is self-explanatory. But I got this from my local hydroponic store. Like I said, you can get these off of Amazon. I will put the link in. This, the, 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 I will put the link in the description below. And yeah. All right, as you can see, this is how it look. Usually people have the rock wool inside the net pot already, but I didn't do that. 
should have so the roots can actually get formed in inside and already can be sliding out the pockets but this okay too uh i usually and then you can have something to cover the top so it won't have like any buzz or any mold growing on top so but this is my tomato plant i got the rest of them in that pods as well i had to thin them out as you can see there's a there's one right here on the side of it but it's looking pretty good it smells just like a tomato cucumber smells just like a, a, the cucumber I, I, and i think that's just amazing but yeah it's pretty easy you can see it's already it slipped out the pocket as well it's gonna be on top of the water and let me show you what that's gonna look like so this is gonna be sitting in the water like that it's gonna be in there deeper though but it's not too bad so i'm excited now as you can see i have my submerged pump in there now i have i got this idea for my i do hydroponic system because i was just wondering like wow what is that for it's just blowing bubbles i guess it's getting i guess the bubble get the roots oxygen so i was like well i can't i could do that so i can create my own so i i found this pump actually i bought this pump and off of Amazon, I could put the link in below. And I was like, I got a bucket full of water. Let's get started. But with your pump, you want to have a timer. And what I mean by that is this timer, I have it set for off for an hour and it be on for an hour. That way, you know, the pump won't have to constantly keep going. Now, you can, you see, you set it up there and you have all your buttons and gizmos and all that to set it up any timer you want. And... Yeah, some people might use this for like Christmas lights or anything else. They have like they don't want on all through the night and stuff. So, and it's very silent. The pump is silent, and this just has it on and off. And it be on for an hour, like I said, and off for an hour. And what you do is you just plug this up in the wall, and that's how you get your power. So we can see the pump is working. It's gonna be blowing. And that's what it is. It's it's pumping inside the wall, right? Now. Like it's going, it's just plugged up inside the wall, not the timer. So let's see if it'll stay on with the timer. All right, boom, there you have it. Have everything on nice and plugged up. I know it looked dangerous, but trust me, I got some surge protectors. Hopefully that'll work and keep it in there. Safe and sound. Uh, next is just to put it through the top. So I'm gonna unplug the pump and show you what that looked like going through the top while installing my net pods all right and here you have it i'm gonna actually put some plant food in here and boom as you can see all my stuff looking nice now they did stretch out because it's like they was trying to stretch to the light get, get some heat but now um, they should be okay they should be start growing the proper way i take this and, and plug it in be off we got 31 minutes to the start that's where i'm gonna start inserting my plant food then yeah so this is the look like uh that's the one i had chopped off as well right there hybrid melon sugar baby cucumber cherry tomatoes yeah i'm gonna do an update video later on probably next week and show y'all what i'm gonna do with some string so they can Grow up the stream like a trellis, and we be should and we should be bearing some fruit. Whew, that's pretty much it. If you find this video very helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified when I post more video. When I get when I post more videos. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Peace.